So let's look at another exercise here. At the end of year one, Comfort's Furniture Company failed to accrue 55000 of interest expense that accrued during the last five months of year one on bonds payable. The bonds mature in 30 years. The discount on the bonds is amortized by the straight line method. So now in the straight line method, what we do, instead of calculating the interest expense first and backing into the discount, we calculate the cash and then we take the total discount and divide it over those 30 years and every single interest payment we basically record the exact same amount of discount so then the interest expense is simply the sum of the cash payment which we calculate by taking face value times stated rate times time plus whatever an equal portion every single period is of the discount so basically in a straight line bond, this would be our formula or our entry every six months, assuming we don't cross a year in. They're identical. We recognize the same amount of expense and discount every six month period. So that's the straight line method. But the problem here, they actually failed to record an adjusting entry. So at the end of December, they didn't record any entry. And then on February 1st, they recorded interest expense of 66,000. Well, between January 1st and February 1st, could you really have five, uh, six months worth of interest? And the answer to that is absolutely not. So what do we need to do there? Well, what we would need to do is actually on February 1st is like a correcting entry. We need to go back and correct prior periods uh, accounts. The problem is, what happens to interest expense when we cross a year in? Well, remember, revenues expenses, they're close to zero. So that interest expense no longer has a balance in it from last year. So how do we fix that? How do we get this down by 55000 in the current year? Well, one, to fix the current year's interest expense, we need to credit that expense out. So remember, typically when we credit expenses, it's to correct balances or to close the account. Here we're correcting the balance. Because out of the 66000 Again, divide that by six, you see that it's $11,000 per month, and we forgot to accrue five months worth. So 55,000 of this 66,000 actually belongs in last year's numbers. So we need to back it out. Now remember, where do we close expenses to at the end of the period? Well, in the closing entries, we can hit income summary, but income summary ends up ending in retained earnings. So what we'll do when we have to do that prior period adjustment is actually go in and reduce the retained earnings there by the 55000 that should have been part of our expense last year. So basically what this means is the company overstated their income because they're missing 55000 last year. And if we don't correct it this year, then we would understate income this year. So we don't want to do that. We want to backdate and fix the issue. So that would be our journal entry to correct. So then, prepare the adjusting entry at December 31st of year two. So what should they have done basically at December 31st? Well, we should have went ahead and recorded the interest expense at December 31st of 55. So at the end of this year, we want to make sure that we actually record that 55. And then along with that would be our interest payable. And since this is a discount, we go in and hit interest payable. Now notice it tells us that our cash payment is 64500 every six months. So we're going to take that uh, number there and we're simply going to, let's see if I can do that here. Well, sort of. We're going to multiply each of those by 5 sixth because that's a six month number. So if we multiply it by 5 out of 6, that shows us that our cash payment or our interest, excuse me, payable should be 53750 at this point. And then we're going to do the same thing with the 1500. We take the 1500 times 5 out of 6 because that's a 6 month number and we get 1250. So the way this would run, that would go against our discount. So this is the entry we will make every December 31st going forward to make sure that we accrue that interest properly. I hope this helps understand what happens if we miss an adjustment and how we actually fix a prior period um, balance in a revenue or expense account, as well as a little bit more about the straight line method in that it is recorded the same way every single period. So every year's entries for a straight line bond are pretty much identical. It's quite the easier method between that and the effective interest method.